welcome back to my channel. I am, I know I say this all the time, but I'm particularly excited about this video because this is a video I've kind of been working on low key for a while. It's going to be an in-depth hair update because there have been a lot of changes, like a lot in terms of my regimen, the way that I'm styling my hair, the products that I'm using, the way that I'm using them, you know what I mean? So I have a lot to share and honestly, the changes have been amazing, a little bit life-changing, okay? Okay, so I'm really, really excited. I also do wanna say a super special thank you to Briogeo for sponsoring this video. In a couple of videos back, I actually teased a product. I don't know if you remember, and I was like, oh, I can't really tell you what this product is, but I'm gonna use it, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 I kinda teased it. <laughs> That's gonna be the star of the show today. I can't wait to give you guys all the details, show you all the action, and also share my updated regimen. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so what are the changes that I have been experiencing in my hair? So as you guys would have seen on here, I recently got much more color in my hair. We were still able to do it without bleach, so I'm happy to say there is no actual damage. The issue that I am having though, and I guess it's not really an issue, but again, it's just a change, is that my hair is way more low porosity. It's like low, low porosity, okay? Now it's crazy because normally when you get your hair colored, um, especially if there's like bleach involved, usually the bleach lifts your hair cuticles. Even though we didn't use bleach, I still thought that the color itself would still kind of open my cuticle a little bit. Anyways, I spoke to my stylist and basically toner actually closes the hair shaft off. That's just how it works. It's supposed to like smooth the hair down, obviously tone the color to the right tone um, and smooth the hair down, make it look nice and shiny and all that good stuff. So it's great, it's not damaging, but it did close my little cuticles and I noticed it. I definitely noticed it when I was doing wash and goes, it just wasn't coming out right. It wasn't popping the way it normally did. And I could physically feel as I'm applying a product with my fingers through my hair, I could literally feel it just sitting on top of my hair strands. And it actually took me a couple washes before I realized that because my hair cuticles were actually more closed, my biggest issue became build up real quick. And it's crazy because I don't know why I thought like build up, I thought that I would be able to feel it. Like if I touch my hair and it's greasy, okay, you got build up. But if I touch my hair and it's not greasy, then we don't have build up. But that is not the case. That is absolutely not the case. So one of the main things that I have absolutely been loving so, so much is doing a clay detox mask. You guys saw the video that I did with Kiss Colors and Care. I think that was the video actually where I realized how bad the buildup was on my hair because my curls after were so popping that I was like, wait a minute, was this just, did this just have buildup on it all the time? So clay mask, definitely a massively important part of my updated regimen once a month. So the next change is in my cleansing routine. As you guys know, for a while, it was actually for like the first two years of my natural hair journey, I was a straight co-wash girl. I had short hair, there was no problem, you know? Now I cannot, I cannot do a wash with just co-wash anymore at all. I literally wash every single wash with a shampoo, sulfate free, of course, but it is shampoo every single time just because my hair is longer, I'm using more products on it, and it just, it gets built up so much quicker as well now that it's like more low porosity. So I, shampoo is just a must. But it's not just the fact that I'm using shampoo more frequently, it's the way that I'm using shampoo as well. So first I've just gone ahead and fully rinsed out the clay mask as much as possible and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually section my hair. Yes, your girl cleanses in sections now. So the shampoo that I'm using today is the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Hydrating Shampoo. I absolutely love this shampoo. I love this entire line actually. It's so hydrating and defining. It's amazing. Um, but basically what I do is I apply the shampoo to my scalp first and then I also apply it to the lengths of my hair as well. I used to just put it directly on my scalp, leave it, and then kind of rinse it through with water and just let a little bit of shampoo touch my lengths. This whole time I feel like I wasn't even shampooing properly. So now I make sure that the suds, the lather, 
all of it gets pulled down from the scalp. So this pulling down method that I'm doing is something that I learned from my stylist Crystal who helps me realize that this is actually the way that you pull build up down and out of your hair with the shampoo. I also rinse out in sections as well. So like I'll shampoo up, rinse out that section, then I'll do the next section, same kind of thing. And then I just repeat it until we have squeaky clean hair. I did do my clay detox mask as you guys saw, so I didn't really have any buildup that I was actually pulling out this time. But I was just using the shampoo to actually make sure that all the remnants of the clay mask were fully out of my hair. Cleansing has been actually one of the most important things for me at the moment. I like to check the definition right after a cleanse with shampoo because that kind of tells me whether or not that shampoo gave me a really, really great cleanse. And it's, you know, with Brio Geo shampoos every single time, it gets me right. Of course, after our detox and like intense cleansing, it's definitely time to get into a hydrating mask. Hydration has been the number one thing for my hair. Hydrating mask, but also the types of masks that aren't like super, super thick. Cause that seems to be too much for my hair now, y'all. I need to have a mask that is super hydrating, but the consistency needs to be more lightweight. And this is absolute perfection. So I present to you the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Hydrating and Defining Mask. It is the actual perfect mask. And I'm so excited that I can finally share it with you guys because I have been playing around with this for the last few weeks now. This mask gets me together every single time. Before I actually apply the mask to my hair, I go ahead and run some warm water on top of my hair because that encourages the hair cuticles to open up a little bit so they're able to receive the mask, receive the nourishment, you know what I mean? Then I go ahead and just wring it out and then apply the mask. They also have a brand new Brio Geo comb which I love using with this mask as well. It just helps with the detangling process. This literally glides through my hair like a breeze. So this mask actually has avocado, castor, chia, and flaxseed oils that help with the nourishment. And then the hair definition actually comes from rice amino acids and tomato fruit ferment. I just, I love it. This mask is honestly the most perfect mask for my low porosity hair because it is that lightweight consistency but still deep in moisture. It is actually hydrating and defining. You can see the curls kind of pop in and I am just... And I'm just taking this opportunity to also moisturize my scalp. So I'm just grabbing the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Hydration Scalp Mask just for a little, you know, double mask action. Since both of the masks have been fully applied, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip my hair up and stick it under my shower cap. And then I'll let the hot water just run on top of the shower cap to encourage my cuticles to open up and receive the nourishment from this mask. By the way, you guys, my discount code is still working for Brio Geo, so you can literally go to briogeohair.com and use code Alyssa for 20% off your next order. So after 10 minutes of letting these masks do their thing, I'm gonna go ahead and fully rinse it out. This is another change that I have made. I used to leave about like 20% of my deep conditioner or conditioner, whatever it is that I used to make sure that, you know, I just want a little bit of extra moisture. But little did I know that that was part of the cause of like the buildup that I was having. So I'm rinsing everything out 1000%. I'm even getting in a little sections just to make sure. And then I'm gonna hop out and actually style outside of the shower. So styling changes, there are definitely some massive styling changes as well. One that I also learned from my stylist Crystal and she learned this from I Am Black Girl Curls. And so what she learned from them is not to style with cream products, which is like, but when Crystal styled my hair without conditioner in that vlog, y'all saw it happen. I was like, you know what? I really got to give this a try. I was, I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. I love me some good conditioner. But after going home and trying weeks worth of washes myself without using cream styler, they were right. They were absolutely right. My world has been changed. And I want to say like, this is not just for low porosity. I think this could work for all hair types, honestly. And the thing really is that water is going to be your best friend. So while I'm not going to actually use a cream product directly on my hair to style, 
I am still going to add a teeny tiny of a cream product into my spray bottle. So I'm actually grabbing the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Curl Defining Conditioner and I'm literally squirting the tiniest amount into my spray bottle and then I'm just going to shake it up and mix it up with the water. I feel like my curls love this because it's not too much and so this is little mini mixture concoction that I'm gonna be using to make sure that my curls are soaking wet before we actually go in with this gel so another change that I've actually made is styling in smaller sections and so what I do is just go ahead and take that little mixture and completely soak the section and then another change I am grabbing a brush yes okay I know I was finger style gang for a really long time but guess what super low porosity hair is really really shut off so I actually found by using this brush in particular it actually helps to smooth the product into my hair shafts and it's just so delicious every single time let me mention I did not have any success with the Denman brush you guys remember that the first time I used it came out with that video absolutely loved it and then like it was like a couple weeks later of me like using it every single wash I realized with consistent use the Denman brush just was not for me it was just it was a hot mess express so that's the reason why I was finger style gang for the longest while until Crystal <laughs> my stylist has just been coming through so she actually gifted me this brush it's called the wet brush and it's just really good so it's nowhere near as densely packed as the bristles on the Denman brush which I find my hair absolutely loves and I wanted to make sure that I use this brush on a consistent basis for a really long time so I've literally been using this brush for all of my washes recently and I still absolutely love it it also does not pull out nearly as much hair as the Denman brush did on me so I 10 out of 10 recommend so I just use the brush to like brush in the moisture like I said and then on top of that we just slap on some gel and that is it so normally I would go in with the Brio Geo Curl Charisma stylers y'all already know how, again how much I love that entire line but this video is all about switching it up a little bit okay so I'm actually gonna be styling with inner sense stylers I'm gonna use two gels one their I create hold and then two their I create volume I'm actually going in with a lot more of the I create hold and then at the end I'll just add in a little bit of the I create volume to just give us a little sum sum so I'm just going in right on top of these juicy hydrated curls with the I create hold the level of hold is strong and this gel is actually really concentrated and I love the fact that it comes in a pump so it, it keeps me from getting carried away so for each little section I just do one pump of the gel and that's it so I'm just continuing to do that same thing to all of the other sections in my hair the curls are just popping and you know what every single thing that we actually did in this specific wash here that I've showed you has everything to do with curl definition so you can literally see the popping curls happen as we're going along so yeah guys final results curls are popping and i'm just patiently waiting you know the volume is going to come by day two maybe even on into like day three and four y'all know what the deal is my hair grows as the days go by but yeah i am like literally obsessed so this entire wash is a wash that i've been able to recreate multiple times same techniques same products and I get these bomb results every single time which is why I'm like so excited to share this with you guys because if you have low porosity hair and you feel like you're struggling these are some major tips here that you can definitely try out I feel like this video is just full of just gems stray gems so yes hair regimen update complete i really hope that you guys found this useful and i hope you guys do try some of my tips if you do y'all know what to do make sure you tag me so i can see your curls flourishing okay so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to go ahead and shop riojiohair.com my discount code for 20 percent off is only available for a limited time so make sure you snag it soon so you don't miss out if you have any additional questions for me as always go ahead and comment them below and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye